A Texas law that allows for the arrest of migrants suspected of entering the U.S. illegally could wind up in the U.S. Supreme Court. And if it does, Arizona's SB 1070 could get a second look by the high court, which years ago struck down much of the controversial Arizona law. To learn more, we welcome attorney Stephen Montoya. Oh, it's good to have you here. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. Um, let's start with the Texas law. What does it call for? It's called SB 4, simply. Oh. And uh, it's a problematic law because it basically authorizes the state of Texas to arrest anyone in the country who has entered the country illegally and deport them to Mexico, even if they entered from uh, Canada, uh, even if they entered from New Mexico uh, or from California. If they enter Texas, they could still be deported to Mexico, even if they're not citizens of Mexico, and even if they didn't enter into Mexico. It's even more problematic than that, though, in a fundamental way, because it authorizes Texas to enforce federal immigration law in a way that is actually contrary to federal immigration law. With that in mind, it's in the courts. Yes. Um, but before we even get that far, Based a lot on SB 1070? Uh, it, it's based upon SB 1070, but it really does go further than SB 1070. Yes. Okay, so now we got the Fifth Circuit is in, it's involved. That's a conservative-leaning uh, court, is it not? Uh, a very conservatively-leaning court. However, uh, the Fifth Circuit recently, actually on March uh, 27th, affirmed the Texas District Court's injunction preventing the law from taking force. Uh, from there, it's headed to the Supreme Court of the United States. If the Supreme Court of the United States accepts certiorari on the case, which is discretionary, as you know. Okay, let's say they do. Let's say it's time we take a look at this. Let's go back to SB 1070. Lots of that, portions of that, were struck down by a previous court, many different justices than we have right now, I mean, could, are, is SB 1070 going to rear its head again in Arizona? Uh, I don't think so, and I'll tell you why. Uh, first of all, Justice Roberts was in the majority in, uh, United, in Arizona versus the United States, the SB 1070 case. Second of all, this is a very, these laws are very radical. Uh, I understand that they have um, some appeal. I'm against them, but I see their point. Mm -hmm. The federal government isn't doing enough to regulate illegal entries to the border. Criminals are coming into the country along with innocent people seeking work, primarily innocent people seeking work. But the United States does need to control its borders, like all countries need to control their borders, and we haven't been doing a good job of it, and that is a job for the federal government. If the federal government, as Texas claims, is derelict in its duties, the Supremacy Clause still holds, or is that what the court's looking at right now? That's what the court is looking at, but moreover, the court is also looking at the issue of presumption, uh, preemption and something called field presumption, uh, preemption. Uh, usually the field of immigration law has been a completely... Uh, dominated by the federal government because foreign relations are dominated by the federal government and immigration is an issue uh, that falls within the, uh, the, um, uh, the embrace of foreign affairs. That said, could the Supreme Court, this makeup of the Supreme Court, basically say that immigration is not the sole purview of the federal government? Uh, I, th I think that it could, but I think it would say something more subtle than that. And, and I'm, I'm hearkening back to the dissents in the SB 1070 case. The principal one was written by the late Justice Scalia. And here's what Justice Scalia said. Hey, listen, the federal government's in charge of immigration law, but the state can enforce federal immigration law as long as it does so in a way that's consistent with federal law. And that would allow, uh, for example, suppose you're a Texas Ranger and you stop someone and you ask them, well, uh, let me see your ID. And they say, I don't have one. And then you say, well, you don't have a driver's license? And, and they say, no. And then you ask them, well, where are you from? And then they say, Mexico. Are you here legally? And they say, no, I'm not, officer. Uh, under Scalia's understanding of the law, 
the, the Texas Ranger could arrest them and not deport them, but hold them uh, for the federal authorities to get and, and process. And they might be subject to uh, amnesty, they might be subject to asylum, or they might be subject to immediate deportation. Yes. But that would be up for the feds to decide. That's consistent, according to Justice Scalia, with federal law, and it's a question of whether the state is assisting the federal authorities in force, enforcing federal law. So yay or nay, we've got about 15 seconds here. Yay or nay, SB 1070, does it rise from the grave? Uh, no, no, uh, yes and no. I do think the court might say that the states can assist enforcing federal immigration law in a way that's not inconsistent with it, which could allow state authorities to arrest people for violating federal immigration law and give them to federal authorities. All right, we have to stop it right there. Stephen Montoya, good Thank stuff. You. Thanks for being here. Thank you, sir.